Yep. Okay. Afternoon, everyone. Damien from Logan Cycling Club. Um, we're just going to do a very brief, unlike our last 25 minute video, um, interview today with our three um, members who went down last weekend and raced at Darren Smith um, on the Gold Coast, hosted by the Gold Coast Cycling Club in round four of QCRS. So we've got Ben Carmen, who raced uh, Elite Men's A, and Teresa Warburton, was that right? Yeah. Who raced the Women's B, yeah. and Kev Biffinger, Biffinger? Yeah. our uh, lovable little foreign national, um, who raced uh, Elite Men's B as well. So all of them um, got up and had fantastic races and, uh, and, and all got a win in their category. So we're just going to have a, a quick chat and we'll start with Ben, throw over to Ben and ask him, I suppose, how, uh, how the race unfolded in 20 words or, or less. <laughs> And uh, what the sort of defining moment is. Are they going off in the background? Do we have the galahs in the background? Just keep going. We do. No, we're good. <laughs> so, cool. yeah, Ben, how um, had the race unfold, mate? And I suppose what was the defining sort of moment in that, in that race for you? It was good. I think the one of the key moments came early on, where that, like, once the racing started proper, there was one lap there that was really, really hard. I think it was something like 400 watts for 20 minutes. Um, and <clears throat> that kind of set the tone for the rest of the race where everyone was basically on the limit for the rest of the race. Um, and so from then, like the middle third was actually kind of easy um, just because everyone was cooked from that start. But um, then, yeah, on the final lap, pressure was on over the um, dam wall, king of the mountain, but it was actually the climb afterwards where pressure got put on proper and the four of us broke away um, from the bunch and then it, it essentially came down to a bunch of sprint, uh, sprint between them before in the breakaway and I just basically knew I had to be first into the corner so I went really early to make sure that happened. Yeah, well done. Yeah, a lot of us were watching on the live stream. It was, um, that was live streaming coming into that final turn and um, yeah, I suppose, can you... For, for those who haven't raced Darren Smith, I suppose it, it's pretty much a hard left coming into a bit of a downhill into the in the final final um, sprint there, yeah? Yeah, it's just under 200 metres to go. It's a, a hard left, mostly downhill, out of the corner into the finish. So there's just, it's too fast and not enough room to, if you come around the corner in second, to make up any ground. Um, and it's a bit uphill just before the corner. So I essentially just did a 300 metre sprint into the corner um, and even though I knew I was going to be suffering by the time we came out of it uh, basically everyone was in the same boat so you know what sort of pace you carried sort of into that corner and coming through yeah I think I was doing just on 60 into the corner um, yeah we've gone really quick yeah nice and uh, yeah it looked like that's where you picked up a couple of a couple of sort of bike wings coming through there and it was all over from there by the look of it yeah I went I went in there hanging on pretty tight. I was, <laughs> I was either coming out of that corner first or I wasn't coming out of the corner. <laughs> All or nothing. Um, just real quickly, nutrition wise during that race, obviously that's about 110k, is that correct? For, or about a bit over 100 kilometres uh, for the Elite Men's A? Yeah, they shortened it though, so it was, it was actually just under 100k. Okay, so about 100 though, so yeah. it was about, what, three, three and a half hours or three hours? Or? Yeah. Um, that was kind of an atypical race for me because I had my stomach felt pretty off at the start. So I only went through three bottles. Um, normally I'd sort of go through four or five in a race like that. Okay. And you just had your own mix in those bottles? Yeah. Yeah. And um, and then just, yeah, a couple of fruit cakes as well. Secret recipes that he's clinging on to by the sounds of things. So we'll get it out of him one day and put it up for all to see. Oh, well, thanks and very much. Uh, congratulations. That was a yeah, fantastic effort. I think that put you third or second, third overall for the QCRS? Yeah, it was third overall. Nice. Great result. And uh, consistent too. So. Well done. Yeah. Anyone who think it's sort of semi-pro or pro or something. <laughs> um, and we'll go over to Teresa. So Teresa's racing the uh, women's um, women's B and uh, stepped up halfway through the QCRS too from C to B. Um, and, uh, was it after Metro or well, after Cunningham? Sorry. After Cunningham. Yeah. After coming in to race the last two rounds up in up in B, so yeah, yeah had that had that race unfold for you, and, and yeah. what was your sort of defining moment in that race? Yeah, um, it was an interesting race. Um, we were in with Division Two, so we're in with um, Elite C Men and Women's A as well, and split up straight away like after we went to um, that first bit. Then we just we just went apart, got together with a group of girls. And just, 
Once again, your um, I think we saw a bit of your uh, finish there live stream too, thanks to courtesy of the Gold Coast guys, and um, looked like a, a bit of a, a tight sprint finish. So yeah. you want to talk us through that? Yeah, there was only Elise and I left for the finish, um, and I'd seen Ben. They came through just in front of us, and I saw Ben go from the corner, and I was like, I'm going to have to do what he did. <laughs> did it nowhere near as fast as him, but um, yeah, just went from the corner and. Um, did you yeah, have the same attitude? Am I either coming out first or I'm not coming out at all? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Railed it. Pretty, pretty much. No, yeah, managed to hold it off the, the, the wind there. So, yeah. yeah, it wasn't even half a wheel. It's a pretty tight. It finish. was very tight, yeah. yeah. Uh, excellent. And so, did you, leading up to Darren Smith, did you um, train wise? I know you're um, trained by Oz Cycle Coaching, yeah. believe it or not. <laughs> wearing their uh, merchandise there. But, um, and I know from yeah, I know you obviously and, yeah. and super consistent in your training. Yeah. Did you change anything leading into this or was it? Not specifically, no. Um, I mean, we tapered the week before, but that was about it. Um, other than that, I just kept it, you know, as, as I have been. Um, yeah, just some stuff through the week and, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, well, great result and, and yeah. congratulations on stepping up, obviously, like I said, from CMV and, yeah. and um, showing that uh, you can handle that with class as well. So, yeah, yeah. fantastic result. Well done. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, let's try it to Kev. Um, Kev, obviously, you racing in Elite Men's B. You've had a great um, series as well um, through from Metro's right through to the full rounds. Um, consistent. And, and obviously showing that you've got plenty of uh, plenty of ticker. So uh, once again, can you talk us through your race? Um, yeah, and what was the defining moment in men's speed? Well, I guess the uh, defining moment came pretty, I thought it would come pretty early in the race. So we got in a break about in the first lap, the second lap, and a break of 20. Well, first of all, I was planning on hanging on to A grade. I said, oh, that's awesome. We hang on, hang on in the first lap on having a bit of an easier race to just sit on the back and say okay I'm here I'm cruising but then they kind of stopped us after the second lap and we had to split but anyway so and they went the free ride yeah, yeah. 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 there goes the free ride anyway so I said okay I well, have to work a little bit more so I got on a break on the third lap and we kind of stayed away for three laps in the half but we couldn't really get but we work together, so I sort of thought that we would get caught at some stage. And I said, well, okay, well, when they caught us, I said, that's not going to be as easy as if we could have stayed, if we stayed away. So I kind of backed up a little bit and worked with the bunch for a few laps, tried to get away on the climb, like on the dam wall, on the last two laps. but. I sort of went on my own and nobody really followed, so I said there's not much point going on my own. It was windy and a big gun following you in those rollers, so we'd catch you anyway. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, I'm just gonna sit on and just wait for the last lap kind of thing. Yep. And on the last lap, whenever we turn on towards the dam, probably two k to go, uh, somebody from Master said just came flying past us, and I said, oh, that's the opportunity, so I just jumped out of the bunch. Didn't quite get onto the wheel, but I sort of could follow about 50 meters behind. And then at the last speech, about 3K to go, so I, he was, I could see him, because he was kind of a big guy, a sprinter, probably 80, 80 kilos. He was whoa, whoa, kind whoa. of, he big was kind of, <laughs> <laughs> big, big on me. He was kind of dying halfway through the water to so that last pin. So I said, well, that's the opportunity. So I said, don't look at my Garmin, because if I look at my Garmin, I probably should be dead. So <laughs> I just kept going, I power, powered past him. And I said, the same thing like as Ben said before. I said, if you get into that corner with a little bit of a gap, you pretty much got it. Unless you finish down the disc, but that's another story. So, yeah. Same finish and get it first to that corner. Yep. And you got it. So it was good. And once again, you um, had a pretty tight finish. Bit of a bit of a sprint to finish. Yeah. So a bit of a bunch sprint sort of. Yeah, bit of bit of bunch sprint sort of. But it was two masters there with me, so it didn't really matter. Yep. But I kind of wanted to finish it one anyway. Yeah. So, 
it's good for somebody who claims not to be as pretty you finished it off pretty strong so it's good to see um real briefly i know you did spice up a little bit of your training heading in just changed and, and, and did a couple of different things and 40 20s and stuff like that correct if i'm wrong so yeah what, what did you maybe one or two things that you changed leading in before uh, but four weeks four and a half weeks before because i've always been riding just to ride and do like random things and riding with other people and trying to not really anything specific and then well could i got the chance to chat a bit with Trez and he gave me a couple of advices and stuff so i just started structured a little bit more without being stupid like not stupid without being like 100 percent committed so just doing bought, bought one structuring. or two structured workout during the week and more than that, a little bit more rest as well, because I've like, cut down the case a bit and I needed some easier day, no 100 k's recovery ride. <laughs> and it actually made a huge difference. Excellent. And for the first time in my whole life, I kind of tapered the last week, yep. and it made a huge difference. I was feeling almost bad and sick in the last week, I was like, oh, that's not good. But then I felt great doing the rest, so that was the main point. So who would have thought? Is it maybe something to tapering? I mean, you know, <laughs> bit of evidence for it. So um, good, looking at good. Um, I had good people around me for the whole series. Uh, helped me the whole way through. Oh, man, here yeah, helped me the whole way through as well. Trace and all the other guys. That was, that was good. It was great fun. I had a lot of fun. And, yeah. Really looking forward for more races. Yeah, I see. It's a great series, and I suppose it. Um, Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think some of the uh, some of the, even the club racing that we do at Logan's always been pretty tough and pretty hard. So I mean, I think that uh, definitely holds us in uh, holds us in good stead when we're coming into these tougher races. That, you know, we used to ride around in 38 degree heat, attacking each other all day. So I mean, it definitely can't hurt. All right, well, um, I'll stop talking because, like I said, I got criticised heavily after last video. So we'll wrap it up. But yeah, thanks very much, um, everyone, for having a, having a quick chat today. And yeah, once again, fantastic results and. Um, yeah, testament to your to your consistency and obviously the ability that you all have. So yeah, thanks very much for having a chat today. And I suppose we're just about to the end of the race season, so there's only no national. Well, I was going to say nationals left for those of us old enough to race in it, but yeah, we'll um yeah, no race for Ben. Yeah, and Ben, you've got NRS coming up. Potentially yeah, or something. in two weeks. Yep. So that's down at uh, nine days at. Yeah, nine days down the one by way, of New South Wales. Yep, you're going to do anything different leading into that or just basically continue on with what you're doing now? You don't want um, to give any secrets away? or No, I sort of, I haven't really been taking it easy into a lot of these state open races, but I will pack things off a bit a week out. And... Week out, taper? Yeah, really old taper. Now that we know tapering works. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, well, thanks very much everyone and uh, we'll pop this up on the, the club page and like as always, if you have any questions or anything you want to ask Ben as a club coach or... Um, Anything you want us to cover, click them through and we'll try to make it happen. Thank you very much.